Now we're going to assemble the LS2 triangle. And the very first thing that stands out to me is the fact that this picture is not this triangle. So ignore this picture. We're going to be working on this diagram. This is actually a picture of a different triangle later on in the row. So, but it's also a modified block. So I'm going to go to the booklet. And my assembly is going to be a little tricky, but if you break this down into units, it makes more sense. So if you look at this, you've got a tip here with an applique diamond straight forward. Then you've got this center diamond unit that you have to connect to the rest of this. So you follow this line, you're going to take this three-piece three, three piece section, you're going to make this unit of 9, 3, and 4, put that together, and then attach it to number 11. Then you're going to make this three-piece unit, 5, 6, and 7, and then attach it to 11. And then you're going to take these four pieces, number 10, 12, 13, and 14, connect them together, and then you can connect them to the 9, 11 side. These four, same thing, 15, 16, 17, and 8 are going to be assembled, and then that's going to be attached to the 11, 7 side. And then finally, you've got these three pieces that will form a row and get attached to the other units here. So that breaks it down a lot easier. And I've got my pieces here. And basting, I think I'm going to baste as I go. I want to make sure that I try to keep my tags from interfering as best I can. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to figure it out as I go. So for this, I'm going to baste these sides first and then this side so that my tags get out of the way of this. But when I go to make this, I'll try to see what I can do about my tags. I will probably do this side, this side, and this side first on both of these triangles, or this side last, excuse me, so that my tags end up going away from this diamond. The diamond itself is going to be opposite sides and opposite sides, and then these are going to be short sides and then long sides. Um, but these, I think, because I want the sharpest point to be right here, I'm going to do one of these sides and then this other one, so I'm going to kind of do a, you know, one of those things. But, so what I'm going to first do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to baste my edges here, and then I'm going to baste this. I'm going to attach this applique here, so it's a lot easier to do while it's smaller. And then I've got my tip ready to go. So I basted my triangle point and the diamond, and I've applicated it on here. So I'm going to set this aside, and my next step is to baste and connect these three pieces to each other. So I basted my pieces. I did the short sides of this first, and then I did the long sides, making sure to get it real nice and snug to maintain the angles. This one, I did this side and then this side, and then I did these two. And it's easier to see from this side. And so then this one, I did the bottom and then the other two, again, easier to see from this side. So I'm going to put these three into this, connected into this one unit. So I've assembled my unit of three pieces. Now I'm going to baste and attach them to my center diamond. So I've attached this unit to the center diamond. And that is what we got right now. So now I'm going to assemble this three-piece unit to attach to the other side. So I've basted these exactly opposite of these. So I'm going to attach these together so then I can put it on my center diamond. So now I've got this piece all put together and I'm going to attach it to the center diamond. So I've attached my other piece to the center diamond. And so this is what I have now. So I'm going to take my point and connect it to my center section here. So then I've got one piece. So I've attached the tip to my center section. 
So now it's all one piece. I'll set this aside. My next step will be to put this piece, this section of four pieces together so I can then attach it to the upper corner. So I basted all my pieces for this four piece section and now I'm going to assemble them. I tried to make sure that my tags go away from each other so I can sew them together easier. So I've assembled these three pieces that go on top of the triangle. Now to put it together with that one. So this piece has been assembled. You got this little triangle right there. So I'm going to now attach it to this assembly side. So I connected this four piece to the corner. So now I'm up to this point. And so now I'm going to do the same thing with this side so I can assemble this unit to this quadrant. So I've got this section all assembled. Now I'm going to connect it to the rest of the block. So I've attached this quadrant to the center section. So my triangle's almost done. I've just got to base and attach these pieces to the top so I can add that top banner. So I've got all of these pieces basted. And now I'm going to stitch them together. So I've got these pieces sewn together into a, a band. And now to attach the band to the triangle. So I've attached this top row to the rest of the triangle. And now I have a completed LS2 triangle.